Hi there, I'm Melanie Thompson. The season is changing and so is my decor. Welcome to my fall 2022 decorating series. Here's what you can expect to see on today's video. I'll be sharing two different style of cozy basket vignettes that you can make and use in any room of your home. I'll also share how you can decorate a small hutch for fall. And I'm going to also share a few pieces of furniture that I recently purchased at my favorite store, Goodwill. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate all of these looks that I'm sharing today in a room reveal. I'll be using this bucket for my first vignette. And I just purchased this recently at Goodwill for just a few dollars. So what's the first thing you think of when you look at this? Whenever I saw it, I thought of an old time watering pail. Now, I don't know if this is old. It might be new and just made to look old. But whenever I saw the missing band around the bottom and just kind of how it was made, it just made me think that maybe it is actually old. But I thought it was adorable. Even if it's not old, I think it's going to look great in my home for fall. And I'm going to clean this up really good with Murphy's Oil Soap. That's what I always like to use when I clean wood. And I need to fill up some of this empty space at the bottom. So I'm just going to crumble up some old paper bags that I have because there's a lot of extra space that I don't want to fill up with items. I wanted burlap for my project, but all I had laying around was this leftover Halloween burlap and it's going to work. I'm just going to turn it over so you're not even going to see those creepy spiders on the backside. And I'm just gonna tuck this in. I don't even want it looking neat. I just want it kind of crumpled. It can be hanging out over the edges a little bit. And I just want it to have a real rustic appearance. After I'm all done with this, I may even go back and loosen a little bit of the burlap away from the edges, just to give it a more worn and rustic look. I just picked up two bags of the scented cinnamon pine cones from Wegmans and they're really fresh right now. So the smell is amazing. I wish smell vision existed so that you could smell these because they truly do smell so wonderful. I love the smell of cinnamon in the fall. I think it's so just cozy and it just makes me so happy to smell the cinnamon, but I'm just going to go around and just place two bags. That's what I'm going to be using um, is two bags in this bucket. And and I'm not going to show you all of me filling this up because it's just going to, you know, take too much time in the video. So I'm just going to fill a little bit more here and then I'll show you what it looks like after I added all of the pine cones. I just added the last of my pine cones. Now I'm going to go in and add some raffia just to the bottom of my basket. I think this is going to give it a little bit more fall appearance and a little bit more farmhouse, a little bit more rustic look. So my friends, I just finished adding the last of the raffia. I think it's looking so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in and add some bright colored fall leaves. And I'm not gonna add too many. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pop them off of the stem because I don't wanna try and shove these stems down into the burlap and the paper. I think that's just gonna be too frustrating for me. So I'm just gonna pull these off of the stem and just place them random places in here. It's not gonna be anything fancy. I just want it to look as natural as possible. I just want it to almost look like this basket was sitting outside and the fall leaves were blowing through the air and they were just getting caught on the pine cones. So I think that's just gonna look so pretty. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think of this basket. Maybe you've tried something similar, but I think this is going to look so cute and inviting for fall. I just added the last of the leaves. Now I want to decorate this handle. I feel like it needs a little bit of something. So I'm going to use this bow that I've had. I actually made this for an Easter basket vignette and I think that looks so pretty. What do you think? I think this just is the perfect finishing touch to this bucket. 
I've had this basket for a long time and I like to use it to make vignettes. I'm going to start by adding a couple of books and that's gonna help as a riser later on. Now I'm adding two yellow cloth napkins and I'm thinking that at the end I might actually tuck these down in a little bit, but for now I'm gonna leave the edges of the napkins just draping over the sides. I bought this lantern at Hobby Lobby and I loved the rustic look and it also has a blue patina, which I really like. This clock I bought at Goodwill. It doesn't work, but I love decorating with it. The first floral I'm gonna use is this green fern and that's gonna help to make the darker pieces that I'm using more visible. These leaf picks I also purchased at Hobby Lobby. I always like to weave my florals together. I think it just gives it a more natural look. So when you see me fiddling around with these, that's what I'm doing. I love decorating with ornamental corn in the fall, so I'm definitely gonna add a few ears to this basket. So I'm just adding some cotton and pine cone stems, and these are really cute for all that I paid. I bought them at the Dollar Tree, and they were only $1.25 each. And then I'm gonna go in on the other side and do just like I did on the left side. I'm just gonna add some greenery and some more of the fall leaves and a couple more picks of the pine cones and cotton ball. And I need to make a little adjustment here. So I'm just gonna lift out the corn and place another greenery fern right underneath my corn. And I'm just bending the stem a little bit just to make it fit in behind the lantern and just kind of tucking it down in there just so everything just sits nice and looks good. The colors are all flowing throughout the basket and I think that looks so much better. And it might be kind of hard to see right now, but whenever I give you close-up shots, at the end of this video, you'll definitely be able to see it better. And these were from the Target dollar spot. I paid $3 each for these adorable pumpkins. They're kind of like a wicker. I think they're so cute. And I'm gonna move this because I wanna actually add a green pumpkin. So I'm gonna add that here in one second. Um, I just wanna make a little bit of adjustment here with this corn again. And then I'm going to place this pumpkin right down in here, just kind of tuck it down in because I think it'll look nicer if I have three pumpkins. I think that looks so much better. I'm gonna make one more adjustment. I don't like where this stem is. So I'm just gonna take it and bend the stem a little bit better and then I'm gonna place it in beside the corn. I think that's gonna make it a little bit more visible than what it is now. Basket number two is done. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please let me know in my comments below. I decided to leave my same picture in sconces on the wall that I've had up now since summer. And I love this picture. My sister-in-law actually found this for me at a yard sale and the sconces I've had for a very long time. But I thought the picture works perfect for fall. I'll start by decorating the top and the first piece I'm going to use is this box and I bought this at Goodwill. I've had this for a while and I really like using it and it works great as a riser. These little boxes also work great for storage. When I'm not using them, I can always use them to store items away. I also found this at Goodwill. Isn't this sweet? I love the sunflower picture. I'm gonna place some greenery down first, and I'm not sure exactly what this greenery is called. I bought this at Hobby Lobby, and this is going to stand out against my black shelf. I won't be adding greenery to the top of my box, so I want this greenery to be cascading down over the side. Now I'm gonna go in and add a few acorn stems. 
sometimes these stems just don't go where I want them to. And I just have to kind of play around with them a little bit just until I get them in the right spot. Now I'm going to add an acorn stem to this side. And I'm going to weave these florals together just like I did in my basket arrangements. Next to add some bittersweet, and I also purchased these at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use small flowers up here because this is a smaller area, so I don't wanna use anything too big because too big is just gonna to be too overwhelming. And I almost forgot to add my leaves, so I'm just going to lift up the bittersweet and tuck these leaves down in. And I'm just going to add a few leaves on this side. I think this is looking so nice. I love the fall colors. They just make me so happy. But these colors I really love using in my home the whole year through. And here I'm just doing some more weaving of this bittersweet, just trying to make sure that you can kind of see a little bit of everything. Want to make sure you can see some of those acorns, the, the leaves are sticking up through the bittersweet. And I also want to be able to see a little bit of that greenery because that really adds a pop of color. Do any of you like decorating with wooden spools? Maybe some of you actually have collections. I found this one at a flea market and I think it is so charming. I love the gingham bow and a little bit of raffia that's sticking down out and it even has a little wee flower. I think it's so sweet. I really like how this is coming together so far. What are your thoughts? These sweet little candle holders and candles I purchased at a little country store back in Pennsylvania called Barbara Ann's, but unfortunately she doesn't have a website. So lately, whenever I need these candles, I've been purchasing them off of Amazon. And if they're still available, I'll be sure to link that link below in my description box. When I'm decorating, I like to use items of different heights. It's more pleasing to the eye. As I'm looking at this, I realize it needs a little bit more color just to brighten it up. So these white fall mums are going to do the trick. Now to add this country sign. I think this is perfect for fall. My same sister-in-law that finds all of my other awesome yard sale items, she found me this. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of the greenery down in through the letters. I just think that's gonna give a little bit more punch of color down in front and just make it look really nice and neat. And then what I'm gonna do is this candle back here. I forgot that I wanted to add a couple books. So I'm just going to place a couple of books underneath that just to give it about an inch or two more height. I don't want it to have much more height, but I just wanted it to have a little bit more just so you can see it above all of the floral. Now I'm adding a little bit of raffia to this basket. The raffia is going to look perfect for fall and it's going to look so cute in this basket, but it's also going to help as a filler because there is some extra space that I really don't need because the items that I'm putting in this, I just want them peeking out over the top of the box. 
I'm just gonna use three different pumpkins. I think it's gonna look nice to use three different textures and colors and because not all pumpkins are the same, right? And then I'm gonna put one right down below. I think that looks so cute. Now to decorate the bottom. And first I'm going to add this tea towel. I bought this recently at TJ Maxx and it was in their fall decor. And I think it's gonna match perfectly with the colors that I used on the top of my stand. I bought this little sign recently at the Dollar Tree. This lantern was also a Goodwill find. I've been so fortunate. I've bought the majority of my lanterns at Goodwill. I've bought a few other places, but the big majority of my lanterns I've bought at Goodwill. And I just gotta put this candle in. Oops, I placed it wrong. So I'm just gonna turn it around here. There we go, that's much better. Now I can put the candle inside. I've had these bushes for a while and I apologize, I don't remember where exactly I bought them at. And I'm gonna place one on this side as well. For the center, I'm adding my dough bowl filled with these large pine cones. And I'm gonna make a little adjustment because I don't like how this bowl is sitting on these bushes. And I'm just gonna actually move this one bush, I think, because I just don't really like how it looks. So I'm just gonna actually tuck it back in kind of standing up. I think that's gonna look so much nicer. And it's also gonna help fill up that space a little bit better. I think that looks more pleasing to the eye. What do you think? There we go, I'm so happy with how this looks. I recently found this charming little bench at Goodwill and I thought it was just so cute, I had to buy it. It's definitely country. I love all of the cutout hearts. It has wheat engraved into the back and it was only $10 and I thought that was a definitely a good price to pay. I like the dark blue on this and look at this stenciling. I think this is so cute and it's in really good shape. I like how it says welcome and I just think it's going to be perfect out here in my entryway. This next piece of furniture that I'm going to share is a match to this bench. But guess what? I found these two days apart and at different Goodwills. Is that not luck or what? I could not believe it. And I paid $5 for this. I don't know if maybe they just ship items to different stores and it just so happened that it worked out that way that these actually were a set that came from the same home and they just went out to different locations. But hey, I'm not complaining, I'll take it. But is this not so cute? I love it and it fits so perfect right in this little area and I think it looks so sweet. My Valance is just one piece, but it's made to look like two. I purchased it recently at Walmart and if it's still available, I'll be sure to link it below in my description box. If you've made it this far in the video, now it's time for my room reveal.
Thanks for watching. Come back soon.